Hey, hey, nail friends. Welcome back to my channel. Mary Rosie Dips here. And this video is going to be featuring July's Manny of the Month kit for Lift Your Spirit Dips. These are the three dips that came in the kit, along with several nail tools. Here, I spaced out and completely forgot to hit record on my phone and completely missed the first layer of the solid colors. But easily enough um, I can still show you because I'm doing the exact same thing for the second layer so each of the nails that already have some color which is all but my middle nail um, are just one dip of the color so the brown I did one dip already on this nail and I am using eye gel beauty dip base and making sure that I apply it liberally and thinly to my nail and then I'm just going to be dipping into the jar This month's July um, Manny of the Month kit came with, like I said, these three colors. And then it also came with two orange wood sticks, which I am using here. As you can see, they are perfect for cleaning up around the cuticles. You want to make sure that you clean around all of your cuticles prior to the dip base drying. And then it'll just make it that much easier for you to file and buff on that area. So check out the chunky glitter. These little, uh, maybe diamond shape, octagon, not octagon. <laughs> My 12 year old says parallelogram shape, but you know, that's his uh, 12 year old mind. Um, anyway, it's beautiful. And it's got these little copper looking colored glitters. And look how easy this applied. So all I did was, apply one layer of base and lay my nail down into a cupcake liner which is my usual for a chunky glitter um my normal is i try to just lay my nail down and get one full coat of the chunky glitter um i don't personally like to do two layers of chunky glitter that's just my preference if you want to do two that's totally fine I think the glitter looks amazing with just one layer. And then I'm using the orange wood stick just to move pieces around where I want them to kind of get them to not be laying on top of each other too much, um, which then in the end is just going to equal them being more flat for when I do clear dip on top. And then I'm cleaning up the edges, just making sure everything is nice and neat prior to clear dip on top. So for this design of the manicure, I kind of thought I would do something different. So most of the time I just do a glitter ombre, kind of either vertical or at the top or the bottom of the nail, either one. Um, but for this, I wanted to do a kind of like a diagonal or at an angle, I guess, not a straight angle, 
of just the line of glitter. Um, and it's not necessarily color blocking um, because I'm not trying to get the lines particularly straight. So all I'm going to do is apply a sideways line of base. Not thick, not thin. Kind of just some. Um, and then I will be laying my nail into the cupcake liner. And I just dunked it in there twice just to get it to absorb a little more. And so, I, got, I mean, I got pretty good coverage right there. So I'm just using the orange wood stick to move those bigger pieces around. Kind of to keep them sort of straight-ish. Um, and I think that looks pretty good. And then when I did this brown one, I actually laid my nail on top of an area that had more of the bronze colored glitters and i like that that one looked more chunky not necessarily actually being chunky just picked up more of the bigger glitters and so what you'll see me doing is first i'm going to finish cleaning this one up moving things around making sure nothing is kind of sticking out of line just keeping them in line uh, but not 100 percent straight and i'm moving some of those around just keeping them more of the design that I'm going for. And then I will take little teeny tiny dots, basically, of base. I'm just touching the nail. And then I touch the orange wood stick. And all I'm going to do is pick up bigger pieces of glitter. And then I'm going to lay them right where I had the base. So this is just glitter placement, as a lot of people in the nail world call it. Um, and I'm only doing this because I didn't get as many of the bigger glitters on this nail just because of where I laid my hand initially. Um, and if I don't like it, I'm going to push it out of the way. Um, if it doesn't stick, I'm just going to get a little bit more base. Um, but just in a few places on this nail, I added extras. And once that's done, I encapsulate it in clear. But little did I know that I forgot to press record one more time. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, somehow my phone decided to uh, get the best of me on this video. Um, so I did a layer of clear dip powder, which is available as an add-on with this box. And then I activated... And then I am using the buffer that is also included in the kit. And last month's kit also came with a buffer block. So if you are like me, I go through buffer blocks like crazy. I go through files like crazy. Tools, orange wood sticks, all the good stuff. I use them multiple times and then I have to move on to another pair. So it's great to get another one of these in my kit. Um, so I am buffing and filing with this and then initially when I picked up the file I did um, file the edges with the buffer block you want to do that either with a block or with another file and make sure you're seasoning it um, so it does not cut your cuticles that's what you call seasoning your file if you've never done that before I highly recommend that way you don't get any cuts um, so I'm just shaping and filing um, It's my usual. Um, if you saw my video last month or if you follow along, I did recently shape my left hand to almonds just like my right. Um, I typically do coffin nails. 
Um, and then the last almost three months, I have had my right hand almond shape and my left hand, my regular coffin shape. So I decided to change it up a little bit. In a few weeks, I'm sure I'll be back to my normal coffin. So after you buff and file, clean off with a stiff brush, and this is what we look like. Then I'm going to go ahead and add some activator, which I ran out of my eye gel activator. So I grabbed my double dip one. They are interchangeable. Mixing and matching liquids is not an issue that I've ever had, and I frequently just grab whatever is closest to me if i don't have all three of the same brand i just grab one and keep moving um i don't typically make something work better or worse this glass cuticle pusher is perfect for cleaning up the cuticles and it is also included in your kit um so i just clean up my nails in any areas and this is what we get after top coat thank you so much for joining me we will see you guys next time Bye.